Let's have someone to lead us in prayer. Can we have someone to lead us in? Let's have someone to lead us in prayer. Jimmy, ma? Yes, Priscilla. Um, I'm yourselves for the prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, allowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. He does not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is the kingdom, the power, and the glory is forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So I welcome you all to this lesson this afternoon. Indeed, we want to thank God for the Father that he has brought us. Hope you can hear me very well. We thank God that we are here again in this holy day. It is such a blessing. Now, dear candidates, I think you have already seen the sample UNEB papers that we are sent through the UNEB website. I'm sure your teachers have showed you what is expected of you. Are we together? Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Anyone who has not seen the sample UNEB paper? So silence means yes or no. Can we assume that we have all looked at that paper and we know what is expected of us come this October? So, our English paper has not changed so much only that we have one paper instead of two. The summary writing is still there. The comprehension is still there. Then we have the functional writing. So there is nothing much that has changed. Only how questions will be answered and the marks the the wording has changed a bit instead of 60 marks we have 20 so there we are summary is out of three marks and let me hope you're doing a lot of practice in summary writing 
please do a lot of practice so that you're able to get all the three marks. So summary, the rules are still the same. The title, the subject, the indented paragraph, the complete sentences. So summary has not changed. It's only the wording that has changed, but the rest still remain the same, like in the old curriculum. So do not ignore it. Just work hard to see that you get all the marks. Hope we are together. Uh, today we are going to look at the topic four or chapter four in book four. And that is choosing a career. We are going to look at choosing a career. Do you hear me? Hello? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you, Joseph. So what is a career? What is a career? Or before we begin, can we share how far we've gone in our schools? Do we still have people who are on, who are still on book three? How far have you gone? Can we share how far we've gone? Priscilla, you help me choose. Um, okay. Teaching is being recorded. I don't see anyone raising their hand though. You have Isaac. Yeah. 
So no one is raising their hands. No one? Yeah, no one. Guys are just um putting their suggestions in the chat. Okay, you can read from the chat. All right. Um someone said they're still on identity crisis. There is patriotism, leadership, childhood memories, culture, leadership, career culture and society, banking. Yeah, banking. That's the last one. Okay. So those ones who are on culture are on chapter three of book four. Yeah, that means those ones are, are about to get to choosing a career. Mm -hmm, that is good. So, when we talk about career, what comes into your mind? Priscilla, do you have my slides? Pardon? Do you have my slides? Because you're the host now. A. I'm not sure. I do not have the slides. Okay. Okay. So what is career? What do we mean by the word career? We said, I hope you've got the message. Yes, Jim. Okay. Uh -huh. Dear students, what do we understand by the word career? So do you have any hand up? No, but yes. Someone has said something in the chat that a career is what you want to be in the future from praise to praise. Thank you. Then um, Michael said, career is simply your choice of occupation in the future. Then Chloe said, something one does to earn a living. Then Isaac said, um, a career is an occupation that requires special training. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one has added on that requires special training. Any other? Um, Bella said, career is like your dream. 
come to occupation, then love. Love said that career is anything one does for a living. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We are all on the right track. I can say, huh? yes, my Michael, we can't get what you're saying. A career is an occupation undertaken for a significant period of a person's life and with opportunities for progress. Okay. Thank you so much. So there we are. And we have more in the chat. Okay, MJ says career is something a person lives up to meet their needs. Uh, thank you so much for all your responses. At least you know the career. Where we have an idea on what career is. Treasure said a career is a person's occupation regarded as a prolonged journey of learning and work in one particular profession. Okay, Maria. Okay. An occupation one takes up it's a livelihood. Thank you so much, dear student. Why is it so easy to, to choose a career? Why is it important? For one to choose a career. Anyone with an answer on why it is important for one to choose a career? Yes, Bella. Uh, like choosing a career is like setting a goal for what you want to become in future and through setting goals you can know exactly what you want to become and then succeed and maybe reach out to your goal thank you so much No area they want to take on after six. For some people, some do we? We have some answers in that chat.
Okay, I was still reading, then I went off a bit. Phrases to gain innovative skills. Maria K says, in order to know which path to follow towards their future. When do you think is the right time to choose a career? I'm sure some of you by now, you don't even know what you want to be. Or you want to be something else, but you may end up to another thing. Bella, what do you mean as other as possible? Early as possible. Eddie Nsubuga says after senior four. Does that mean in S5? And we still takes us back. A career refers to learning new skills and gaining experience and advancing in new field. Uh -huh. Mary Shanik says when at school. Oh, Bella, when a child joins school, do you still have the same dream you had when you were in P1? Let's imagine in P1, you really wanted to be a teacher. Do you still want to be one? Yes. <laughs> yeah, someone says, I think at least senior three. Form for back. And okay, I see Marina, as soon as you discover your abilities, exactly. As soon as you discover your ability. Joan, when you have an opportunity. And Nora. Early teen years. Early teen years. Seriously. At times when we get to know what we want, we can work hard to see that we get it. I'm sure of that. But if you relax, you may end up not getting what you want. So it is very important that you choose what you feel you have you are passionate about and then you can be able to you can be able to go in for that career yeah once you discover where your talent is or lies you are good to go. Uh -huh. That is good. So when we talk about career, remember that there is also a decision. Have you taken a decision on a career you wish to pursue? Have you? I can see some people have not yet chosen what they want to do. Okay. That's why I was asking you, when do you think you should choose a career? Some people are saying yes. Some are saying not yet. 
Mm -hmm. I'm still doubting. I know being in senior for some are waiting to see when, when you will be able to what you get in senior four will determine your next step. step doing that. Priscilla, I've given you the rights so you can share. Yes, I have. Let it come up with a better decision. Uh -huh. So um, I know there are those ones who are waiting for results to come back. And then you see what have I got in history or in literature and which course do I want to do? What have I got in biology? Can I do it at A level? You know, all that. So you're waiting for results, but you're not yet sure. You can go to the, the, the next slide, Priscilla. You're not yet sure what you want to do until you have done senior four. I'm sure of that. Uh -huh. Is your career influenced by your parents, your own dreams, or other factors? Oh, Isaac, I'm sorry about my network. I thought it was on because it went off once. So do you hear me now? Am I clear? Okay, MJ says yes. Uh-huh. So is your career influenced by your parents, your dreams or other factors? And if there are other factors, which factors? Which factors have influenced your career? Chloe says money or what's that career, Chloe? Bella says dreams, your dream. Uh -huh. That's good. That means that there is something that you're passionate about. Someone, Chloe, it is engineering. So engineers get a lot of money. Uh -huh. MJ says guidance from elders. Someone says salary. Praise says finances. Mm -hmm. Rina, money, academic status, dreams. Mm -hmm. My availability of jobs, uh -huh. and that is what some people say, you know, that job, you, in that job, you cannot get, you will not get a job if you do that course. Maybe you do this because jobs are available, but it's not about that. And remember in your new curriculum, it's not about white collar jobs remember that by now you should be earning earning money that is the new curriculum as we teach as we train you what else can you do that is the competency-based curriculum what else can you do that can help you earn money without necessarily looking for a job. So some of you are already looking out for jobs. So Mary says, availability of skills. Of course, it is the, the skills is something that has to do with you. Someone says it is the parents. Okay, if you do the wrong course, if you take a wrong career because of your parents, 
influence, then you're likely not to do it at your best. Those are the rules. Hmm. Uh -huh. Someone says skill, money, friends, and connections. Bella, what do you mean by fame? Isaac, family background. What do you mean by that? Those are the other factors. Hmm. Can we say that when your family, in your family, or uh, if most people are doctors, you also take that trend that you must be a doctor? Someone says is influenced by the determination. Maria, K, the people you work with. Yeah, we've already seen jobs. Mm -hmm. William says, want to be a news anchor. Why? Where is the confidence? You have to believe in yourself. You have to be assertive. You must know what you want so that you get it. So if you want to be a news anchor, then please work hard towards that. These days we have public speech in schools to do things that bring you in the limelight, things that bring the bring you confidence. You begin by you begin from home. At home you address your siblings and then at school, you begin the uh, debates and all that. Once you're able to stand in front of people, then you are able to, you'll be good to go to achieve what you want. So don't just sit there and say, I'm not confident enough. That says innovative names, market, talent, family background. People aspiring us. Yes, you might have someone who inspires you. And then you say, I must be this because of that person. Uh, those are the other factors. Wishes. I don't get that. Financial status, mission from role model, interest and passion. That's fine. Okay. So thanks so much for your responses. And indeed, some are influenced by their parents, their dreams, their determination, the, in all that that you have said. Our, Priscilla, you can go to the next slide and let's have someone to read it. Yes, Andrew. <laughs> oh, your your hands is already up. Okay, Andrew, you read. Mm. Okay, I'm reading. Have you ever taken a decision on a career? No, you wish that's not what you are reading, pressure? Andrew. You wait for Priscilla to change the slide, then you read. Yes. We are through with that one. We are through with that one. Okay. Priscilla? Priscilla, are you there? Yes, Andrew, you can now read. Should I take it? Okay. Getting information about pos possible career opportunities. When you choose a career that you wish to take up, there will always be important information that you will need to acquire about the career to enable you know if you can meet the requirements for the career opportunity or not. 
Priscilla, you have put the wrong slide. You put slide three. Priscilla? Yes, Andrew, you can read that. Okay. A career is an occupation that someone undertakes after training, for example, being a teacher, an engineer, or a doctor. It is a source of livelihood. That what disturbs me. Choosing like, a career. It is like. like Andrew? Can you repeat livelihood? Andrew, are you there? Tisha, can I read? Okay, you read. A career is an occupation that someone undertakes after training, for example, being a teacher, an engineer, or a doctor. It is a source of livelihood. Choosing a career entails deciding which occupation one would like to ensure to pursue, this should be based on passion, interest, and abilities. Thank you so much. And people have already talked about interest. They have already talked about skills. Yes. In choosing a career, make sure you're passionate about that career or what they do in that career. Make sure that you have the interest. Make sure you have the abilities. Otherwise, if you have you have nothing, you're just doing it for a sake, or you're doing it because there is a lot of money, you're bound to fail. At least you must have passion. You must love what you want. Priscilla, can we have the next slide? Um, should I put the one which I had shared before? No, for oh, the one with pictures. All right. So you can zoom your gadgets, dear students, so that you see, so that you see well. Those pictures, and I want us to identify the careers. We have there the first picture, picture A. Which career is that?
Lea. Are you there? Yes. 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 Hello. We can hear you. Blair? Hey, I'm here. I think there's a health worker. The doctor. Hey. Pardon? The doctor. I'm seeing a doctor. The medical worker. Okay. Nemo. Nemo, what is going to be? Oh, I can see there. in part yeah, there is a doctor, but B, engineer or mechanic. Because engineer matters. I can be an agricultural engineer, I can be an engineer under mechanics. And part mm. C, that's a teacher. The career is teaching. Then part D. Uh, don't give up. Nemo, don't give us all. Uh -huh. We have Big Daddy. Next time you rename. Welcoming to class, you rename. Big Daddy. Let's see, teacher. Uh -huh. D is a farmer. What is in D? Farmer. Which one would you prefer? Um, doctor. I prefer to be a doctor. Not a teacher? Uh, nah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh -huh, Priscilla, next slide. Slide five. Priscilla, next slide. Priscilla, are you there? Priscilla. She already changed it. Okay. Uh huh. Which occupation are there on that page? Which careers? Which careers are you seeing there? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Big Daddy. Uh, I see a doctor, footballer, police officer, and uh, the last one, I'm not so sure what it is. I think it's uh, uh, an engineer or something. Okay. Can we have another person? Yes, Cleopas. Madam, we have a doctor and a footballer, policeman, and a welder. Mary, thank you. There is a footballer, doctor, policemen and women, then a welding man. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So all these are careers that you can choose from. You can choose from these careers in case you are interested, in case you have something passionate about them, then you can join. Next slide, Priscilla. Is it visible yet? Yes, it is. Thank you. Can we have someone to read for us? To take us through? Yes, praise. Praise. Praise, are you there at higher? Is praise there? Praise, Nora. Nora has also gone off. Thank Maria, you. okay. Maria mm -hmm. Kay. Getting information about possible career opportunities. When you choose a career that you wish to take up, there will always be important information that you'll need to acquire about that career to enable you to know if you can meet the requirements for the, that career opportunity or not. Uh -huh. While you choose, many of you said you already know what you want to be, but do you know the requirements for those careers? It is very important that you know the requirements. Otherwise, if you're studying, you have 10, you're doing nine subjects, but out of those nine subjects, which ones will lead you to your dream, your dream career? You must know that before you start backing on uh, that career. You must know if you have the required, the, 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 the necessary requirements for that very career. So we have here a speech and we shall have volunteers to read through, to take us through. Then after we have questions to answer. So as you read, make sure that you take in the information. Priscilla, next slide. Can we have people to read? Yes, Big Daddy. You read the first two. 
speech by career guidance teacher, guest of honor, the board, the board chairman, board members, representatives of universities and colleges, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to our school and specifically to, the, to this year's career day. Maria K. Careers Day is a day set aside in our school calendar to provide an opportunity for learners to benefit from career guidance and exposure to different careers. We have invited career coaches as well as people with experience in different career fields through talks and exhibitions. Awareness about careers is enhanced and learners will be empowered to make informed career choices. Mm -hmm. Continue. The importance of this day cannot be overemphasized. Indeed, that the school has set aside a day from the usual busy academic calendar is evidence enough that matters of career guidance are extremely important. We thank the school management for making this day a reality. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Can we have other people to read? Next slide, Priscilla. Let's have other people to read. We have already done that, Big Daddy. Yes, Mary. Next slide, Priscilla. Next slide. Decide, deciding on the right career is easy if one has the correct information. The learners need to be aware of many op opinions available, not only to those who score highly high grades, but also to average students. The factors that determine a learner's career choice include learning ability, talent, interests, values, and resources available. As such, a learner needs to, to do some self-evaluation self before deciding on a career. To the learner, I say, know yourself. Next slide. Can we have someone to read for us the last slide? Yes, Bella. Bella? Can we have another person to read for us? Yes, Nemo. Parents, you have a role in Sheldon's career choice. That is why we have invited you here today. You are role models, career, con career counselors, and facilitators. This is an opportunity for you to dare to dream with your child and to nurture and to nurture their dreams. To quote, to quote a Peter. Nyongo, Nyongo, no matter where you are. Yes? Continue. No matter where you are. No matter where you are from. Your dreams are, are valid. The main objectives of this day are to help each learner identify the most suitable career for them and expose learners to, re to requirements for college and university courses. 
leading to their dreams, to their dream careers. The learners will learn about emerging careers and global trends in career choice, where parents will be sensitized on their roles in career guidance for their children. I wish to acknowledge all our guests for honoring our invitation. You have made this big day a success. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Next slide, where the questions are. Let's have someone to look at through the question. Yes, Mary Shani. Activity. In life, people need guidance on what they can do in future. What is a career day? There are groups of people who were invited on career day, name them. Now that you know the, the importance of career guidance, what are, the, what are the major objectives of the school careers, school's careers day? Write a summary of what you have learned about careers from the speech. Having listened to the speech, write five sentences about your favorite career. Thank you so much, Mary. And to all those who have taken us through, so we have an activity there. Priscilla, you will be taking us back as people look for answers. Hope you have taken screenshots of the questions. And then now we can start discussing the answers. Let's discuss the questions. Number one. So what is careers day? The slides are being shared. We're on question one about careers. <laughs> what is careers day? According to the passage. Yes, Isaac. Okay, career day is a day set aside in our school calendar to provide an opportunity for our learners to benefit from career guidance and exposure to different careers. Now you're going to stay in our school as if you're also part of that school. Mm -hmm. You've replaced that with what? An article? in a school calendar so that you don't put our as if you're also part of it. Okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Can we answer question two? <laughs> See? 
Yes, already has the answer to number two. Okay, Karedi is a decent asleep in a school. Priscilla, can we go back to the question and we see number two? Yeah. Good. And so you think when they were calling you, that was that. Oh, I invited my career, didn't it? Stacy, let us have Cleopas. Cleopas, you can answer the question. Mm -hmm. Hello. Which groups were invited on the careers day? Yes, Didan. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Um, I would like to know more about the career guidance. Have you just joined in? Yes. <laughs> no, we did that. Oh, you will get the slides on the group and you read through to understand more about career guidance. Thank you, madam. The group because link. sincerely, we can't go back. You don't have the link? Okay, let me see. No, I, 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 I have the, the meeting ID. <laughs> Yes, Mary. The guest of honor, the board chairman. Are you on the group, the WhatsApp group for holistic senior for? The people were invited. Huh? The groups of people were invited. Huh? Guest of honor, the board chairman, the board members. Representatives of universities and colleges. Uh -huh. Where have you got the where have you got those who are invited? From yes. the Mary. Where have you got those ones who have been invited? From uh, hmm? from the seven slide. From the protocol. Yes, from the protocol in the seventh slide. The protocol in the seventh slides or the first? Okay, the seventh slide in the first paragraph. Okay. Where the speech begins from, remember, we begin with protocol. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, how can we have the answer to the third question? Priscilla, go back to the questions. And let no, someone you... for the third question. Yes. Then we get to the answer. The objective of the school's career 
Yes, who is this global? Global. By now, you should know how to rename so that you use a clear name, not the name of the phone. When you're joining the class or joining the lesson, please make sure that you rename. You rename and put your name there. Did Dan, is your hand still up for number three? Yes. Or you just forgot it up? No, this is number okay, three. Okay, can give us the answer. Um, what is the question? The question is, now that you know the importance of career guidance, what are the main objectives of the school careers day? According to my opinion, eh? Madam. Not your opinion from the message. The questions are in the, the answers are in the passage. Oh, okay. Okay, madam. I thought that it was it was it was your opinion. Sorry, madam. No, it's not your opinion. Okay, madam. Thank you. I've got it now. You're welcome. So the link is in the chat. Those ones who are not yet in the group, you can join the group so that you get all the information that you need. At times, even teachers send their questions, notes. So it's important that you stay in the group and know what is happening. The, in, uh, in the holistic platforms. Yes, Mary. Uh, the, the main objectives are passion, interest, and abilities. Okay, which slide is that? I don't remember the slide, but I I remember noting from the slides, yeah? one of the slides. Okay. So we have the main objectives there. To help each learner identify the most suitable career for them and expose learners to requirements for college and university courses leading to their dream careers. So I told you that by now you should know the requirements for your career, the career that you want to do. Make sure that you know the requirements so that you work hard to achieve your dream career. Otherwise, if you don't know the requirements, you're going to have it rough. You'll find yourself choosing, I don't know how many combinations, but just to know that it's very important that you know the requirements for a certain career. Are we together? So, uh, three of us have already yes. sent the slides. The, I've sent the link in the chat for you to join. So please make use of that link that I have sent so that you join the WhatsApp group. 
So number four, you're going to do the work and you send it on the group. I'll open the for a while so that you send the work there for number four and five. Or you can send in my inbox. Then I'll mark and send you back your work. Are we together? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's a good of you. Uh -huh. Any other thing we can share? Senior post anything you want? What should we have in our next lesson? Should we do functional writing skills? Can we agree on what to do the uh, think we do composition writing? This should first take us through summary writing. Composition I give you, hmm, we are not in the market. So let us have, let me write what you have and then I'll choose what the majority are in for. Yes, Ime? Somebody writing. So Ime says we should do Some bit of summary writing. Yeah. Right. Did that? I think we do minutes and composition writing. Did that one minutes? Mm -hmm. We have another hand. Williams. Functionality. Williams, writing. Functional writing. Okay. But functional writing, remember, has so many aspects. So you have to be specific, maybe. Oh, okay. We can do gestion and we look at some. Yes, Jemima? Jemima? Memories. Memos. Yes. Okay. Ceci. Ceci. Anyamas. And are you with us? Functional writing. Yeah. But next time, one, two. Next, next time you, you rename instead of using Samsung. Stacy, we can't see you. Minutes writing. Alicia. Minutes writing. Minutes writing. Okay, taking okay. Taking okay. Mm -hmm. You see the problem of not reusing your name? 
They can choose pick on you and then you're not even aware that it is you. Comfort. Comfort, are you there? Comfort. Cat. Cat. Blair. Yes, please. Yeah, me, I'm going to like, Blair, I can't I... get you. Okay, I wanted us to go. What to did me. you want? How creative writing is supposed to be. Creative writing. How to what? Creative writing. Okay, I can't the... get yeah. Hi, I'm saying it. So creative writing. Yeah. Creative writing. Yeah. Yeah. Madam, but what uh there's we should also do uh ah, forgotten this one composition if you had if you had me composition composition that is the uh, same as creative mm. okay ktm ktm some people are coming in with the unknown KTM, we can't hear you. Can you please go to a safe place? 